Hello, First United Methodist Church Preschool and We Care friends. It's so nice to see you today. We sure hope you're staying healthy and having fun at home. I thought I'd read a few stories to you today to pass some time. The Little Mouse, the Red Ripe Strawberry, and the Big Hungry Bear by Don and Audrey Wood. Hello, Little Mouse. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. Hungry Bear can smell a red ripe strawberry from a mile away. Especially one that has just been picked. Boom, boom, boom! The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and sniff, 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 find that strawberry no matter where it is hidden or who is guarding it or how it is disguised. Quick, there's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. Cut it in two. And share half with me and we'll both eat it up yum now that's one red ripe strawberry that the big hungry bear will never get the end I love you stinky face by Lisa McCourt and illustrated by Sid Moore I love you, my wonderful child, said Mama as she tucked me in. But I had a question. Mama, what if I were a big, scary ape? Would you still love me then? If you were a big, scary ape, I would comb your whole hairy self to make sure you didn't have any tangles. And I would make your birthday cake out of bananas. And I would tell you, I love you, my big, scary ape. But mama, but mama, what if I were a super smelly skunk and I smelled so bad that my name was Stinky Face? Then I would give you a bath and sprinkle you with sweet smelling powder. And if you still smell bad, I wouldn't mind. And I would hug you tight and whisper in your ear, I love you Stinky Face. But mama, but mama, what if I were an alligator with big sharp teeth that could bite your head off. Then I would buy you a bigger toothbrush for your big teeth and make sure that you brush them every night so that they'd stay healthy and strong. And if you had a sore throat, I would stick my head right inside your enormous jaws to make sure you were okay. And I would say, I love you, my ferocious alligator. But mama, but mama, what if I were a terrible meat-eating dinosaur with razor-sharp claws that ripped my sheets every night while I slept? Then I would give you plenty of meat to eat if that is what you liked. And I would sew your sheets back together every day because after all, ripping them would be an accident. And I would tuck you into your newly mended sheets every night and say, I love you, my sweet, terrible dinosaur. But mama, but mama, what if I were a swamp creature with shiny, slimy, smelly seaweed hanging from my body and I couldn't ever leave the swamp or I would die? Then I would build a house right next to the swamp and I would stay with you and take care of you always. And when you splashed to the surface, I would say, I love you, my slimy little swamp monster. But mama, but mama, what if I were a green alien from Mars and I ate bugs instead of peanut butter? Then I would 
dress you in colors that showed off your nice green skin. And I would pack your lunchbox with beetles and spiders and ants and grasshoppers and the tastiest bugs you've ever had. And I would pack a note with all the bugs that said, I love you, little greenie. Bon appetit. But mama, but mama, what if I were a cyclops and I had just one big gigantic eye in the middle of my head? Then I would look right into your gigantic eye and say, I love you, my little cyclops. And I would sing you a lullaby until your one gigantic eyelid got droopier and droopier. And it finally closed and you were fast asleep. I love you, Mama. And I love you, my wonderful child. Thank you for listening, Preschool and We Care Friends. We're so glad to see you and we miss you so much. I hope to see you real soon.